Henry David Thoreau said, busy, so too are the ants. The question is, what are you busy about? Love this quote, and it, it had really a profound effect on me, something that I've actually created the business, Practice Freedom U, around. Because, I mean, think about this for a second. I live on the Mid-Atlantic, right, Northeast, and there's something about being busy that people seem to, I don't want to say brag, but they almost brag about. Like someone says, well, how you doing? Ah, staying busy. Oh, okay. How are you doing? I'm really busy. And then someone else says, I'm crazy busy. Almost to say like, oh, well, I guess you win, right? You're crazy busy. So you win the busy contest. Like, like it's a contest of how busy. It's not about being busy. Everyone's busy. As Thoreau said, the ants are busy. But what are we busy about? And is our busyness are the things we're focusing on, are they producing the results they want, the outcome they want? And when I read the, um, the book a long time ago, but I, I keep it around, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People by, by Covey, um, you know, that begin with the end in mind was really, was really powerful because it's almost like, you know, if you were going to take a vacation, the first thing people are going to ask like if you told your spouse, hey, we're going to go, you know, I'm taking everyone on a vacation. The first thing we're going to ask is where you're going. We're going to, you're going to ask about the destination. And the destination is begin with the end in mind. So I, I took this, this begin with the end in mind. And I took this idea of being busy because I was as busy as everybody else working 12, 14 hours a day treating patients, doing the documentation, putting out the fires, dealing with the insurance and the collections and the payroll and going to Costco and picking up the paper towels and all this stuff. So I said, you know, let me try to get more clear about what I want to accomplish. So every Monday, walked into the office early, sat down before anyone showed up, any patients, and I just asked myself, what do I want to accomplish this week? And I started playing with this and I turned it into three. What are the three things I want to accomplish? Now, it isn't three to-dos because one of the things I want to accomplish may have more action steps to do it. But what this question forced me to do is ask another question. So, if I was going to accomplish these three things, what would that lead me towards? So then I had to ask myself, well, what is it that I'm trying to accomplish for the month? What is like the one thing that I want to accomplish for the month? And then this led me to ask then yet another question, which was, what is my goal? What is my objective for the quarter for three months? And then this helped me create a whole process around, well, what is my 90 day goal? What is my 30 day goal that is gonna help me move towards achieving my 90 day? And then every week, what are three things that I want to accomplish that's gonna help me achieve the 90 day and eventually the, 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 or the 30 day and eventually the 90 day? So this was, this was more of a thinking exercise. And since then, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people have used this, this framework. So I wanted to share this with, with you today and just simply start, because we're already overwhelmed, we're already busy, busy, busy. Just simply ask yourself uh, this week, what are the three things you want to accomplish? And take some time to figure out what those are and why these three because your to-do list probably has 30 things on it. Well, what are the three that are most important? And then you wanna ask yourself, why those three? Why question's really powerful. Why is it you wanna accomplish, let's say, getting your documentation done? Why is that one of the most important? Well, maybe you're having trouble getting your notes done and Without getting your notes done, you can't get paid because you can't submit the claims without the notes done and you're trying to increase some of your cash flow. All right, 
you have your thing you want to do, you have the reasoning behind it. Now it's about, well, what's preventing you or what's a possible obstacle that will prevent you or getting the, <clears throat> getting the way of achieving that goal. That's it. Do that for three things every week. And here's what I promise you. <coughs> After four weeks of doing this, getting into this habit, you will be much more clear. You will be much more productive and you will get more done in actually less time. That's what I've seen personally. And that's what I've seen by anyone that has done this. So that's my recommendation. That's what I will leave you with this week. So go ahead and do it. Feel free to live, leave comments or experiences. Love to hear it. So give it a try. Until next time.